Today I'll be sharing with you a handful of ways to style a tiered midi skirt for spring and summer, or any midi skirt for that matter. It definitely doesn't need to be a tiered one. That's just what I'm going to be showing you in this video. I recently made a video about 2024 spring trends, which I will link above here. And one of the items that landed on that list is a tiered midi skirt. So I decided to buy one myself. I found a really cute one used on Mercari. It was actually new with tags, so not actually used, but I was able to buy it secondhand, which is always nice. And I decided to put it to the test and see how I can style it. It's such an effortless and feminine piece for the spring and summer. So I'm really excited to show you guys what I was able to do with it. So use this outfit inspo if you have a tiered midi skirt yourself or just any type of midi skirt would work as well. Let your creativity run wild, make modifications where you see fit. Before we get into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below if you want to see more style content featuring me twice a week, and let's just get right into it. All right, so for outfit one, we're going to be keeping it super duper simple with this cardigan to start off. And there's a couple of different options on how to style this. I actually unbuttoned the two lower buttons and then rolled up the sleeves a little bit just because I like a little skin. Some other options are to tuck it in or do a half tuck. I'll be adding these white sneakers because I love sneakers with more feminine pieces. And I feel like with a lot of lighter tones like this that sometimes an outfit can feel a little flat. So I wanted to add this brown bag just for a little bit more contrast, which I felt like really helped balance out the tones a little bit more. So again, a very simple, very easy look. And there's a couple modifications you can make here like tucking the cardigan in, or you can even just add a tank top underneath and open the cardigan up. And speaking of tank tops, let's throw this white one on. Because these outfits are primarily for spring and summer, we're gonna be seeing a lot of lighter tones here, including this blazer, which I threw on, of course, over the tank top. I mean, I don't know what else I would do with it. So there we go. <laughs> and then just to have a little bit more skin showing, I roll up the sleeves of the blazer, which I've just been loving doing lately with pretty much all of my overlayers. And then I'll be adding a pair of terracotta mules. These are like one of the only pieces in my wardrobe that I have that has actual color in them. So had to throw it in here somewhere adding my little pearl bag, and this is the completed look. This is another really good example of that juxtaposition between a masculine type of style and then a feminine type of style. So if you're ever feeling a little bit bored with the pieces in your wardrobe, or maybe you just wanna experiment a little bit, I highly recommend looking into pairing a more structured, again, more masculine type of style with something that's a little bit more flowy and feminine. They just work so well together and I love it. Next, I'll be adding this white bodysuit. I promise we'll be adding some color and some other tones in a little bit, so just hang tight. And then I'll be adding this Juicy Couture Parade Collab silk scarf. Did that make any sense? Probably not, <laughs> but I'll be adding this around my waist. This has been one of my favorite things to do with skirts and dresses lately. I just love the angled effect that it gives. I think it's super unique. And then I'll be adding a pair of beige sandals or they're like heeled sandals, I guess you could say. And again, a very lighter neutral outfit, but with the scarf wrapped around the waist, it adds some angles, it adds some color. I predict that silk scarves are gonna be one of the biggest accessories of this summer, especially styling it like this. So if you don't have one, definitely get one. All right, so next we're gonna be adding some darker tones. I have this graphic tee as well as this bralette, which I'll be using to tuck my t-shirt in. And I'm gonna be tucking it at an angle, which again, I'm really loving this like diagonal type of of style lately you saw it earlier with the scarf and with this as well I'm gonna be adding some platform sandals which I love to wear because they give me a little bit of height and I felt like something was missing so I was like you know what let me just add this gold belt so I added it around my waist and I feel like with the angled effect it just looks really really nice one of my favorite ways to experiment with my outfits is through tucking my t-shirts or my tops in different ways. So this is something that I've been really into lately. And of course, adding some type of fun belt never hurts. So this entire look is perfect in my eyes. And I think it's probably one of my favorites in this entire video. For this next look, I'll be adding a sleeveless turtleneck underneath a sweatshirt. This is a very casual, very easy look. I'll be adding some chunky sneakers as well. So to me, this is like the perfect outfit for running to the grocery store or just doing something very simple, very easy outside the house. Of course, I have my Trader Joe's bag here, which again, nice for a grocery store run, can't complain. 
Okay, a little bit off topic, but are you guys obsessed with Trader Joe's as much as I am? Because if I could live there, like if I could set up shop and never move, I would, just saying. So if you wanna pair your midi skirt or whatever skirt with something super comfy, this is the combo for you. Next up, I'll be pairing this black tank top with this gray alpaca half zip. This has been my favorite item in my wardrobe lately. I'm actually wearing it as we speak, as I record this. And then I'll be styling it one of my all time favorite ways to style an overlayer during the spring and summertime. And that's just right over the shoulders. It's so cute. Adding a pair of black sandals just to help balance out the other black pieces. Got my black bag here as well. So a lot of different tones going on here, but I think they work really, really well together. This is something that I would probably wear to dinner or out at night because the overlayer is perfect for any of those times where it might get a little bit chilly. And if you're always freezing like me, then it is perfect. And I will link this half zip below if you guys are interested in it, I highly recommend. Next up, I'm gonna be adding one of my favorite items right now, which is my Harley Davidson vest, as well as adding this little gold chain again. I just think it's so cute. I love the contrast. And I think it makes for a really, really nice accessory. And then we're just gonna be switching it up a little bit with some Doc Martens. Again, this is another really good example of that juxtaposition between something that's a little bit more feminine and then something that's a little bit more edgy or masculine. I feel like an outfit like this is really able to prove the versatility of a tiered midi skirt like this or any type of flowier, lighter, more feminine type of piece. Like there's so much that you can do with it. You can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can make it more masculine or not. It's so versatile and that's why I love it. Lastly here, we're gonna be taking one of my favorite layering pieces, my cropped button up as well as this brown vest. Gonna be layering the vest on top of the button up, of course. When in doubt, layer it out. That's what I always say. I have actually never said that. That's the first time I'm saying it, but it's true, layer it out. And then I'll be adding my pair of brown tall boots, which I know that you can't really see them underneath the skirt or if you were wearing like a longer dress or something, but I see people pair longer boots with skirts and dresses and things like that all the time. And I just think it looks so good. I also rolled up my sleeves here, added my brown bag. So I have a lot of different brown tones here, but honestly, I think it works. I'm cool with it. So I hope this video has been able to prove to you guys how versatile this type of skirt is. It is definitely one of my favorite pieces that's gonna be in my wardrobe this spring and summer. And I'll link some in the description for you guys to shop. All right, you guys, that is the end of the video. Leave a comment down below which outfit was your favorite or share with me how you like to style your midi skirts. I would love to maybe test it out, try it myself. I'm here to get inspiration from you guys just as much as you are from me. As always, thank you so much for watching. I am so appreciative of your support and I really, really mean that you guys. Thank you and I will see you guys next time. Bye.